The 38th regular session of the 18th Sangguniang Panlalawigan of Aklan is now called to order. The opening prayer will be led by the Honorable J. Yulalio Tejada, followed by the singing of the National Anthem and the Aklan Hymn. Let us all pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the gift of life, for all the opportunities and accomplishments it brought to us as we try to perform all our responsibilities according to your will. We recognize your kingship, your power, and control over all things in this world. As we perform our mandated task today as government officer, officials, strengthen us, Father God, that we may hurdle the enormous challenge now brought by the pandemic. Enlighten us, Father, that we may find the wisdom that will guide us to do the right decisions for your people, O God. With special intention that I pray, that we pray for our frontliners, dear God, strengthen them physically and mentally, inspire them continuously, that they may be able to persevere the impact of this health crisis. With all our government leaders and stakeholders in the community, we are asking your compassion and mercy. We cannot win this battle without you in our midst, O oh dear God. This is our heartfelt prayer, Father God, and your will be done. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Noon pa man, malaki na ang naging bahagi ng mga kababaihan sa lipunang Pilipino. Kaisa sila sa marugdob na paghahangad ng kalayaan ng ating lahi. Kabilang sila sa paglinang ng ating makulay na sining at mayamang kultura. Kasapi sila sa pagtataguyod ng mga adhikain ng kapwa mamamayan at sa pagtugon sa mga pangangailangan ng lipunan. Katuwang sila sa pagtuklas sa mga larangan ng agham at medisina. Kapanalig sila sa pagpapairal ng batas, karapatan at katarungan para sa lahat. Kabahagi sila sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sa pagpapanatili ng demokrasyang Pilipino. Sa paglipas ng panahon, hindi nagmaliw ang kanilang pag-ibig sa ating inang bayan. Mga kababayan, ito ang alay ng mga kababaihang Pilipino para sa bayan. Tumayo po tayong lahat at sabay-sabay nating awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Thank you. 
Secretary to the Sangunian will now call the roll. The Honorable Jose Miguel Martin Miraflores, the Honorable J. Eulalio Tejada, the Honorable S. Eliserio Flores, the Honorable Nelson Dalisay Santa Maria, the Honorable Ramon Sukgang Hilito, the Honorable Nemesio Patron Iron, the Honorable Juris Bautista Sucro. The Honorable Emmanuel Subiet Russia Aguirre de la Cruz. The Honorable Harry Cortez Sogang. The Honorable Emmanuel Labor Sudusta. The Honorable Teddy Corsino Tupas. Present by teleconferencing. And the Honorable Siriaco Tolentino Feliciano. Honorable Chair, majority of the members are present. Uh, thank you. Now with the presence of quorum, we can now proceed to consider the minutes of the 36th regular session of March 16, 2020. The Honorable S.L. Isario Flores recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, and good afternoon. I move that the minutes of the 36th regular session dated March 16, 2020 be approved. Any comments, amendments? Hearing none, on a motion duly made and seconded, the minutes of the 36th regular session of March 16, 2020 is hereby approved. Now, the 18th Sangguniang Panlaliwigan of Paklan officially welcomes the Honorable Christine Hope de Pagsugiron. SK Provincial Federation Vice President as uh, acting ex officio member of the 18 Sangguniang Panlalawigan Vice the Honorable Blessy Gestro Esmundo who is on an extended leave pursuant to joint memorandum circular number 2017-01 of the Department of the Interior and Local Government and of the Commission on Elections, as well as the National Youth Commission issued on June 23, 2017. Uh, is the uh, Honorable Pagsugiron online? Yes, Honorable Chair. Should she uh, prefer, she can uh, deliver 
her inaugural address to the 18 Sangguniang Panlalawigan. Acting Secretary, do we have the official documents of the Honorable uh, Pagsugiron? Honorable Chair, the Honorable Christian Ho Pagsugiron has submitted her out of office personal data sheet and statement of assets, assets, liabilities, and net worth through email. She's not online. Anyway. Anyway, uh, we'll just uh, make way for the Honorable Pagsubiron as soon as he is uh, ready and available. Now, uh, in the meantime, we can proceed with the proposed uh, provincial enactments. I understand there is uh, an urgent matter that we need to take up first before uh, proceeding with the other uh, matters in our agenda. Yes, the Honorable uh, SL Lizario Flores is uh, recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, as a chair of Committee on Laws and Rules and Ordinances, I'd like to propose uh, for the amendments of our uh, existing internal rules of procedure and to, if possible, to add one provision, Mr. Chair, in our existing uh, rules and uh, internal procedure. Uh, in emergency cases, natural or man made, which will result in failure of members to physically attend the session, the regular or special sessions can be allowed to be convened in via video teleconference, Mr. Chair. So I would like to propose in our existing uh, roles and rules of procedure to amend and to add, no, Mr. Chair, the one one provision, which is to allow a, a teleconference uh, session in case of emergency, Mr. Chair. Uh, there is a motion, duly seconded to uh, amend uh, the internal rules of procedure of the 18th Sangguniang Panlalawigan of Clans, specifically Rule 5, 
yes, on uh, the conduct of sessions by allowing the members in emergency situations who cannot be physically uh, be present during a regular or special session to participate via video or teleconference during the session. Uh, since this, requ this requires two-thirds majority vote, the Acting Secretary is requested to get and record the vote of each and every member, including those who are participating in the session online. Yes, the Honorable uh, Manuel Soviet Russia Giri de la Cruz is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I just want to be clarified, is this particular rule will only take effect uh, during emergency cases? And yes. when we say emergency, Mr. Chair, there is a need for the declaration of a state of calamity. So as uh, for us to be able to uh, distinguish between an emergency and an ordinary or regular session. Uh, what are the parameters that has to be uh, incorporated in our uh, internal rules, Mr. Chair? Uh, since it is an emergency, is there a need for us to... For, for there, is there a need for the declaration of the state of calamity? Uh, the move on, proponent, kindly respond. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Honorable De La Cruz. Uh, in our uh, pre-meeting uh, this afternoon, with regards to that, I, I also raised that concern, no? if we need uh, the declaration of state under the calamity. But uh, we, you know, I, I believe that uh, there is no need. No? Uh, we determine only if, uh, what is the level of you know, uh, necessity you know, that we can declare uh, emergency cases, even without uh, declaring under state of calamity. If that is the case, Mr. Chair, then there is no need to put the word under emergency cases. That we will allow teleconferencing even on ordinary days if there is no need to have it declared an emergency. The only qualifying word, Mr. Chair, if we're going to call it an, an emergency session is and to allow teleconferencing is the presence of the state of calamity or state of emergency. That is the only time that will qualify because it is imperative, Mr. Chair, to, for us to determine this because of the determination of a quorum. If we allow teleconferencing, meaning everybody who are not physically present will, will be considered in counting or determining the quorum. That is why, Mr. Chair, uh, it is imperative for us to identify whether teleconferencing, session through te teleconferencing, will also be allowed during regular session if the body would only allow it. The, I, I, I hope, Mr. Chair, that there should be stringent uh, criteria in determining emergency cases. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, the general rule is physical presence yes. is mandatory. Only in extreme emergency situations would we allow uh, members to participate uh, online. At, uh, because there would be a situation where uh, there has as yet been no declaration of a state of calamity, like in the province, in the case of Ursula. We have to call a special session precisely to declare a state of calamity. So there has as yet been no declaration. So it is a matter for the, I think, for the Sangudian to determine if uh, the situation demands that uh, we convene either a regular session or a special session without the physical presence of the members to address 
and uh, enough pass measures necessary at that particular time. So this would be availed of only in extreme emergency situations, like uh, now we are uh, under uh, state of calamity, public health emergency because of uh, COVID-19, and uh, the Sangunian, we in the Sangunian anticipate that at any time, the provincial governor would request the passage of an urgent measure. And if we cannot master a physical quorum, then we will not be able to act on, a, on an emergency situation. This is what uh, we contemplate for this particular amendment. Only in extreme emergency situations where, where uh, the members are prevented by natural or man-made calamities from being physically present in the regular or special session. Uh, may I be allowed to continue, Mr. Chair? Yeah, please proceed, Honorable Del Cruz. Uh, if such is the case, Mr. Chair, then we have to define what is extreme emergency cases that would allow teleconferencing uh, without the declaration of the state of calamity or state of uh, natural calamity, mm -hmm. Mr. Chair. That, that is why uh, it should be included, uh, in my opinion, in our internal rules, the meaning of state of emergency that will allow teleconferencing. That is all, Mr. Chair. Yes, we will uh, include the definition of uh, extreme emergencies. So, uh, Acting Secretary, we need to get the individual vote of the members, including those participating online. Roll call vote. The Honorable Jose Miguel Martin Miraflores. In favor. <laughs> the Honorable J. Yulaleo Tejada. In favor. In favor. The Honorable S. Alicerio Flores. Moment. In favor. The Honorable Nelson Delisa Santa Maria. The Honorable Nelson Dalisay Santa Maria. The Honorable Nelson. Uh, uh, if in favor of the amendment in the internal rules of procedure. Are you in favor of the amendment in the internal rules of procedure? The Honorable Nelson Delisa Santa Maria. Madam Secretary, very choppy, young man. How would you? I can't understand. Are you in favor of the amendment in the internal rules of procedure pertaining to the, uh, the for, that will allow the video tele, teleconference conference in emergency situations? The Honorable Ramon Sukgang Hilito. In favor. The Honorable Nemesio Patron Niron. In favor. The Honorable Juris Bautista Sucro.
the Honorable Emmanuel Soviet Russia Aguirre de la Cruz. I favor the amendment. In favor, the Honorable Harry Cortez Sokang. The Honorable Teddy Corsino to pass. In favor. The Honorable Sir Yaco Tolentino Feliciano. In favor. The Honorable Juris Bautista Sucro. The Honorable Juris Bautista Sucro is in favor. Hello? Hello? Bati nyo ako? Bati nyo ako? Yes. Yes. Bati ko, bati. Loud and clear. Pati nyo ako. Loud and clear. Pero bulsok gan. I am in favor. The Honorable Emmanuel Labors de Dusta is in favor. Crisis. The Honorable Harry Cortez of Gang is also in favor. In favor of the, of the amendment. So, uh, how many votes do we have, uh, Acting Secretary? We need uh, uh, at least 10 for uh, a two-thirds two uh, majority. 11 are in favor, Your Honor. So, uh, having obtained uh, two-thirds majority... Yes, Honorable Chair. ...the amendment of the internal rules of procedure of the 18 Sangguniang Panlalawigan specifically Rule 5 on uh, sessions, is hereby approved. Next item in our agenda. The Honorable Nemesio Patroniron is recognized. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Uh, this pertains to item number one, under an acted uh, and finished business. The urgent request of Governor Florencio Timer Flores for an authority to enter into a memorandum of agreement with Panay Power Corporation, La Paz, Iloilo City, for the establishment 
and administration of trust accounts in accordance with DC 2018-08-0021 of the Panay Power Corporation for the accrued and future financial benefits from the commercial operations of the PPC Power Facility. Honorable Sir, this was referred to the Committee on Laws, Rules, Ordinances, and the Committee on Energy, Public Utilities, Transportation, and Communication, which conducted a committee hearing on March 16, 2020, and recommended that it be approved per Committee Report Number 2020-050. With that, Honorable Sir, I move that uh, the urgent request of Governor Florencio Timor Flores for an authority to enter into a memorandum agreement with Panay Power Corporation, as stated a while ago, be approved. I so move the vote, sir. Any objection? Hearing none, the motion, as duly seconded, is hereby approved, and the provincial governor is hereby granted the authority to enter into a memorandum of agreement with Panay Power Corporation for the establishment and administration of trust accounts in accordance with DC 2018-08-0021 of uh, PPC for the accrued and future financial benefits from the commercial operations of the PPC Power Facility. The Honorable Jay Ulalio Tejada. For item number two under pro proposed uh, provincial enactments, this is an urgent request of Governor Florencio Timera Flores for a passage of special ordinance adopting and approving the proposed QS or qualification standards in compliance with the Civil Service Commission to update qualification standards of some specific positions. This was referred to the Committee on Human Resource and the Committee on Laws, Rules and Ordinances which conducted a committee hearing on March 16, 2020, and recommended that it be adopted and approved as per committee report number 2020-048. We draft special ordinance here with attached in our documents. So I move for its approval in the plenary, Mr. Chair. Any objection? Hearing none, the proposed special ordinance is hereby approved. Now we come to unfinished business. Yes, the Honorable uh, Naron. Item one, under the unfinished business, no? pertains to the request of Governor Florencio Timera Flores for passage of resolution approving the peace and order and public safety or PAPS plan for calendar year 2020-02022 of the province of Aklan. This was referred to the Committee on Disaster Preparedness and Peace and Order, which conducted a committee hearing on March 24, 2020, and recommended that it be approved slash granted per committee report number 2020-061. With that, Honorable Chair, I then move that uh, the same be approved. I so move no objection. Any objection? Hearing none, all are in favor. The uh, Peace and Order and Public Safety or PAPS plan for calendar year 2020 to 2022 of the province of Aklan is hereby approved. The Honorable Jay Tiada. Mr. Chair, uh, before I move uh, to item number three, under uh, or, uh, uh, item number two under unfinished business, uh, 
my uh, attention was called and uh, for uh, for the measure under uh, seven letter A uh, number two, referring to the urgent request of Governor Florencio Timera Flores for uh, the passage of special ordinance adopting and approving. So this is uh, this should this should be uh, uh, taken as a measure to be considered for uh, second reading because this is a special ordinance. So uh, I need to correct myself, uh, Mr. Chair, since this is a special ordinance. If uh, with the indulgence of uh, the members of uh, the Sangguniaan, if uh, just to correct the, we, that uh, we should be within procedure because this is a special ordinance and this is calendared supposedly for uh, second reading. So I am correcting my previous uh, motion, Mr. Chair, that uh, item number two under letter A the urgent request of Governor Florencio Timera Flores for a passage of special ordinance uh, approving the proposed QSB first uh, taken as uh, a measure under second reading. So I amend, uh, Mr. Chair, my previous motion, although it was ruled already for its approval, but uh, my attention was called uh, for procedural concerns. So I am amending my previous motion on number two, Mr. Chair. Yeah, in effect, uh, you are moving for the reconsideration of the ruling of the chair, and uh, yes, you are amending your that's, previous motion. That's more appropriate, Mr. Chair. So I am, I am moving for reconsideration, appealing for reconsideration. Uh, on my previous motion on item number two, on the urgent request of the governor to consider it in second the, reading. Yeah, the earlier ruling of the chair is reconsidered, and this particular measure is submitted for approval on second reading. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And if there's no other concerns, I move for its uh, approval in the second reading. Any objection? Hearing none, the proposed uh, special ordinance adopting approving the proposed uh, qualification standards in compliance with the Civil Service Commission to update qualification standards of some specific positions is hereby approved on second reading. Mr. Chair, if I may continue. Uh, please proceed, Honorable Teada. Since this is an urgent request coming from uh, the Office of the Governor with the recommendation of the Human Resource Department of the Province of Baclan, I urge the indulgence of our members to allow me to sponsor it in the third and final reading for the approval of the special ordinance adopting and approving the proposed QS in compliance with the Civil Service Commission to update qualification standards of some specific positions. So I move, Mr. Chair. Any uh, objection to the passage on third and final reading as of this particular measure on the same day? Hearing none, all are in favor. The same is by approved on third and final reading. Now, uh, shall now take up our unfinished business for uh, today's regular session. Mr. Chair. The Honorable Jay Ulalia Tuhada, you may proceed. Under unfinished business for item number two, this is a proposed resolution sponsored by this representation. Uh, introduced by this representation and uh, was uh, sponsored by the Committee on Tourism, Arts and Culture. This uh, resolution commending and congratulating Coffee Drama, the first Aklanon local band for making national exposure 
by getting a contract with Viva Records, bringing pride and honor to the province of Baclan. This was referred to the Committee on Tourism, Arts, and Culture, which conducted a committee hearing on March 19, 2020, and recommended that it be approved as per committee report number 2020-060. So I move for its approval in the plenary, Mr. Chair. Uh, on motion, Julie made the second the proposed resolution commending congratulating Coffee Drama, the first Aklanon local band for making national exposure, is hereby approved. Item number three. Mr. Chair, if I may continue. Please proceed, Honorable Teada. This is a refiled ordinance sponsored by this uh, representation, an ordinance introduced by Honorable J.T. Had and Honorable Nemesio Pineron and uh, sponsored by the Committees on uh, Disaster Preparedness and Committee on Laws, Rules and Ordinances. An ordinance instituting a policy for road accident prevention and road safety practices awareness in the province of Baclan, creating a task force for its effective implementation, appropriating funds therefore and for other purposes. This was referred to the Committee on Laws, Rules and Ordinances and the Committee on Disaster Preparedness and Peace and Order, which conducted a committee or series of committee hearings on March 16, 2020 and recommended that it be approved on the second reading as per committee report number 2020-049. Mr. Chair, I move for the adoption first of the committee report number 2020-049. Uh, there is a motion, duly seconded, to adopt committee report number 2020-049. Any objection? Hearing none, the same is hereby adopted. Thank you, Mr. Chairs. And since this measure is uh, scheduled for approval in the second reading after a series of uh, joint committee hearings since last year until uh, today, I moved for its approval in the second reading, Mr. Chair. Any objection? Hearing none. On uh, motion, Julie made the seconded. The uh, proposed ordinance is hereby approved on second reading. Mr. Chair, uh, please proceed, Honorable Teada. Since we are now in the second reading, this uh, proposed ordinance is sponsored by the Committee on Laws, Rules, and Ordinances, headed by Honorable Flores, and the uh, Committee on uh, Disaster Preparedness and Peace of Order, headed by Honorable Neron, with members Honorable Emmanuel Sudosta and Honorable Harry C. Sukgang. The sponsor or is now open for any clarification, uh, deliberation, or uh, any uh, clarification on the proposed ordinance. The period of uh, debate is hereby open. Any uh, questions or clarifications? for the proponent. None. Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, the Honorable Tejada. Since this is a crucial and very uh, essential piece of legislation and without uh, hearing any uh, concern and with the support of my uh, uh, members in the Joint Committee, Committee on Disaster and Committee on Laws, I move for its approval in the second reading. Now, uh, we, we close the period of debate. Any comments, amendments to the proposed uh, ordinance? Hearing none, the same is it by approved on second reading. Thank you, Mr. Chair.
and uh, to continue, Mr. Chair, with the indulgence of the members of uh, the Sangguniang Panalawigan of Aklan, I move for its uh, third and final reading. Since the proposed measure was passed on second reading without amendments, the proponent now is moving for its approval on third and final reading. Hearing no objection, all are in favor. The same is hereby approved on third and final reading. Item number four. Senior citizens, the Honorable Neron is recognized. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Item uh, number four, under unfinished business. <coughs> Excuse me. Ispe resolution number 2019-267 of the province of Benguet requesting the Congress of the Philippines to amend the Republic Act number 994 and Department Administrative Order number 10-02, series of 2010 of the Department of Trade and Industry to increase the limit of total purchases from 1,300 to 5,000 per calendar week to grant discounts to senior citizens and for the inclusion of some necessary items as basic necessities and prime commodities. Noble Chair, this was referred to the Committee on Senior Citizens, persons with uh, disabilities and indigenous uh, people, the Committee on Trade, Industry and Commerce, the Committee on Laws, Rules and Finances, and the Committee on Health and Social Services was conducted a committee hearing on March 16, 2020 and recommended that a separate resolution be sponsored to request the Congress of the Philippines to amend the Republic Act number 99994 and Department Administrative Order number 10-02, series of 2010 of the Department of Trade and Industry to increase the limit of total purchases from 1,300 to 5,000 pesos per calendar week to grant discounts to senior citizens and for the inclusion of some necessary items as basic necessities and prime commodities per committee report number 2020-052. So, with that, Mr. Chair, I move that a separate resolution be sponsored to request the Congress of the of the Philippines to amend Republic Act Number Nine 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 Four and the uh, the. Department Administrative Orders Number 1002 of the 2010 uh, of 2010 of Department of Trade and Industry to increase the limits of total purchases from 1,300 to 5,000 pesos per calendar week to grant discount to senior citizens of inclusion of some uh, commodities. Um, we pass by this August Biden board, sir. Uh, just uh, an uh, observation from the chair. If possible, just to limit the request to Congress to for the amendment of Republic Act number 9994. 
and to exclude the Department of Trade and Industry because the, the department order is just uh, an uh, implementing measure. So the amendment should be directed, the request for amendment should be directed solely to the Congress of the Philippines. Yes, Your Honor. And uh, it can be done, the request can be done through passage of resolutions. The preparation of the same is uh, subject to style number, sir. I so move number, sir. Uh, there is a motion for the passage of a resolution requesting the Congress of the Philippines to amend Republic Act number 9994 to increase the limit of total purchases from 1,300 to 5,000 pesos per calendar week to grant discounts to senior citizens and for the inclusion of some necessary items as basic necessities and prime commodities. Any objection? Hearing none, the same is hereby approved. Now we come to new business. The Honorable uh, Teddy Corsino Tupas is recognized. On new business, uh, number one, application for accreditation of Calibo Migrant Support Group as a non-government organization to operate in the province of Maclan. Mr. Chair, I move that this application be referred to the Committee on NGOs and POs. I so move. Motion to refer, granted. Now we come to municipal enactments under review by this Sangunian. The Honorable uh, S.L. Flores, recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Municipal enactments under review. Uh, item A, uh, enacted unfinished business during the 37th regular session on March 24, 2020, which was adjourned for a lack of quorum, Mr. Chair. So, on item number one, enactment of Malay, an ordinance number 408, series of 2020, entitled, An Ordinance Requiring All Business Establishments Operating in the Municipality of Malay to include the English language translation of the information written or displayed and their signages of advertisements, including restaurants, menus, and providing penalties for violation thereof. This was referred to the Committee on Lost Rules and Ordinances and the Committee on Tourism, Arts, Culture, and Trade, which conducted committee hearing on March 16, 2020, and the Joint Committee recommended that be declared valid and operative under committee report number 2020-0151. So I move for its approval, Mr. Chair. Any objection? Hearing none, ordinance number 408, series of 2020 of the municipality of Malay is hereby declared valid and operative. Now, uh, the Honorable uh, Jose Miguel Martin Miraflores, recognized. Thank you, Your Honor. This is under budgets, an acted new business during the 37th regular session on March 24, which was adjourned for lack of corn. For the Municipality of Malay, for two items of the General Fund and MEDD budget for fiscal year 2020, one is Appropriation Ordinance Number 03, Series of 2019, an ordinance authorizing the annual budget of LGU Malay for fiscal year 2020 in the total amount of 581 million pesos for the general fund and 21 million 450,000 for the Municipal Economic Enterprise Department covering various expenditures for the operation of the local government for fiscal year 2020 and adopting the necessary funds for the purpose. And item two, is resolution number 119, series of 2019, a resolution approving the annual budget of the local government of Malay for fiscal year 2020 with a total outlay of 581,000 pesos for the general fund and 21,450,000 pesos 
for the Municipal Economic Enterprise Department and Local Government of Malay. This was already noted by the PLFC and submitted its evaluation and recommendation that it be operative in their entirety. Uh, Your Honor, the Committee of Appropriations in its usual practice uh, would uh, in place a committee report which is also given by the approval of the PLFC. But in this case, Your Honor, with the, uh, I discussed it with both members, the Honorable Soviet de la Cruz and the Honorable Andoy Lito, we would like to, to approve this uh, budget of Malay just for this situation, Honor, to approve as it was already given a recommendation by the PLFC that it's it operative in its entirety. So if we are allowed, Your Honor, uh, both uh, all of the members of the Committee on Appropriation agreed that we would like to pass the item one and two of the Municipality of Malay, which is uh, Appropriation Ordinance Numbers 3, Series of 2019, and Resolution Number 119, Series of 2019. So with that, Your Honor, I move that it be declared operative in its entirety. I so move, Your Honor. Uh, there is a motion duly seconded for, uh, in effect, approval by the plenary of these three measures, appropriation ordinance. Only two, Your Honor, is correction. One and two. Yes, your yes, Honor. one and two. Appropriation ordinance number 03, series of 2019, and uh, resolution number 119, series of 2019, both of the municipality of Malay. Any objection? Hearing none, all are in favor. The same is hereby approved without need of a referral to the concerned committees. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. I move for the item number three that uh, the honor from the Committee on Human Resource, the Honorable Tejada. Yes, the Honorable Tejada is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Item number three under budget originating from the Municipality of Malay is on human resource concern. This is ordinance number 401, series of 2019, entitled an ordinance creating plantilla positions in various department of LGU Malay included in the annual budget for calendar year 2020. Mr. Chair, it is to my mind and my personal opinion that uh, these positions, uh, plantilla positions, is deemed included as part and parcel of the appropriation ordinance of uh, the LGU Malay. And since we had already approved uh, setting aside procedural concerns, items number one and number two, it is my proposition and my motion also to uh, adapt and approve in the plenary today, ordinance number 401, series of 2019, an ordinance creating plantilla positions in various department of LGU Malay included in the annual budget for calendar year 2020 to harmonize the appropriation ordinance in its totality of LGU Malay. So I move, Mr. Chair. Any objection to the immediate approval of ordinance number 401, series of 2019, without need of a referral to the concerned committee, considering that the Provincial Local Finance uh, Committee has uh, already submitted its uh, favorable recommendation. Hearing none, the same is hereby approved. Next item, the Honorable SL Desario Flores. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is enactment of Baliti. Item A, Special Ordinance Number 004-2020, entitled an ordinance imposing general curfew for a period of one month as frictionary measure to avert the spread of novel coronavirus acute respiratory disease and the municipality of Baliti. Uh, Mr. Chair, this was already uh, included in the calendar last uh, session, but it was not acted because of uh, lack of quorum. And this ordinance, Mr. Chair, uh, is only a period of one month, no? and uh, this is very uh, necessary for this time in Baliti. And as committee in, on laws, Mr. Chair, 
I, uh, if we refer this in the appropriate committee, I believe uh, what much chance I'm going to convince the committee hearing. So in consideration of the of all members, I, I also move uh, the disability ordinance uh, number 004-20 entitled an ordinance imposing general curfew for a period of one month as fictionary measure to avert the spread of novel coronavirus acute respiratory disease in the municipality of Baliti uh, will approve in the second reading, Mr. Chair. Yes, the Honorable Tupas. Just, uh, just for clarification, Mr. Chair, uh, does the, does the uh, ordinance uh, coming from the municipality of Balete uh, includes, uh, is there a uh, penal provisions of a uh, section in the ordinance? Because, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, there, there is uh, already an executive order uh, issued by the provincial governor that uh, there is a, a, uh, a uh, curfew from 8 to 5 a.m. So uh, maybe uh, I'm wondering why I'm, I'm wondering maybe the, the municipality of Balete uh, enacted, enacted an ordinance to include uh, uh, penal provisions. May I know from the sponsor, Mr. Chair? Uh, Secretariat? Secretariat, please. I, I didn't have a, a, a draft copy of the ordinance. <laughs> Uh, for a minute, uh, uh, you know. Uh, on section four, uh, for the record, penalties, uh, penalties for violation any of the provision of this ordinance shall be based on all national and provincial issuances addressing COVID-19, uh, Mr. Chair. So there is a uh, penalty, but they adopt and apply the existing uh, loss no? of a national and the provincial, not in their specific uh, ordinance. So nothing new, Mr. Chair. It's, uh, the EOS also states that uh, that particular provisions, uh, because uh, I, 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 I ask this, Mr. Chair, because we, we are planning to also enact an ordinance in, the, in our municipality to include uh, penal provisions in, in, the, in the ordinance. But uh, we thought that uh, there is already an uh, issued executive order by the provincial governor for uh, uh, the, the curfew hours from 8 to 5. So if there is no pe uh, penal provisions that would in, uh, that include in, in, included in the, in the ordinance uh, enacted by the municipality of Balete, I think uh, one minute pinagiba from the existing EO of the governor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And uh, Mr. Chair, uh, even if uh... By the way, the municipal ordinance has to conform with the provincial ordinance yes, so Mr. far Chair. as its implementation is concerned. Mm -hmm. So if there's any more, no more uh, clarification questions or questions, sister. I move uh, again. I would reiterate my motion to approve in the second reading, Mr. Chair. Any objection? Hearing none, the same is hereby approved on second reading. And thank you, Mr. Chair. This, uh, I believe, uh, and we believe that we feel that this is urgent, no? Because of this uh, time today. Uh, so, if there's no more again uh, amendments or questions, so I move for the approval of or Ballet Ordinance Number 004-2020, entitled an ordinance imposing general curfew for a period of one month as precautionary measures to avert the spread of novel coronavirus acute respiratory disease in the Ministry of Ballet Aklan to be approved in third and final reading, Mr. Chair. Uh, clarification, Mr. Chair. It was. I, I, 
I yes, think, the, the Honorable Tupas. Yes, I, I think we just need to see lapses from the chair. Uh, I, uh, with due, with due respect, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Uh, the Honorable Flores, I think uh, the, the ordinance coming from the municipality of Balete uh, does not need a third uh, reading, Mr. Chair. Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, yes, Mr. Chair, but uh, my, 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 my intention, Mr. Chair, is uh, it was not uh, properly referred to the appropriate committee. So there is no committee report. In, in my understanding, my yes. position is only a referral. So I stand as a chair committee on laws and rules. So I believe this is my committee. I consider this, this time as my committee report because I yes. sponsor this to pass a second reading, Mr. Chair. Uh, well, uh, in effect, the chairman of the committee on laws submitting the measure for approval by the plenary without need of a referral yes, to Mr. the chair. concerned committee. Any objection? Hearing none? The special ordinance number 004-2020 of the municipality of Valete is hereby declared valid and operative. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Now we come to new business, measure of Nomancia. The Honorable Neron. Honorable Chair, this pertains to item A and B, uh, enactment of Numancia under new business. Resolution number 097, series of 2020, as uh, amended by resolution number 104, series of 2020, under item B. A resolution amending resolution number 097, Series 2020 that respectfully requesting for reconsideration from the Honorable Eduardo M. Año, Secretary Department of the, of the Interior and Local Government, to allow the local government of the Mansaklan an exemption for two years from implementing the LG Memorandum Circular Number 2020-036 in the territorial jurisdiction of the municipality of Numancia, province of Baclan, while the LGU is formulating its tricycle road plan and implementing the same during its transition period to include private tricycles, top-down tricycles, tricycles slash pedicabs, motorcycles, e-bikes, bicycles, and similar three-dust-three-wheel slash two wheel vehicles. I move that this particular uh, enactment of the municipality of Numancia be noted by this August body of the noble sir. I so move, noble sir. Any objection? Hearing none, resolution number 104, series of 2020 of the municipality of Numancia addressed to the DILG is hereby noted. Now, do we have anything urgent under uh, which we can take up under uh, unassigned business or under other matters? If there is none, I would like to request the Honorable Esel Lizario Flores to lead us in thanksgiving prayer. Let us pray in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I uh, will pray the uh, Oracio Imperata. Our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find the, the cure for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care from them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. 
Give us the grace and the trying time to work for the good of all and to have those in it. We implore you stop the spread of virus and save us from our fears. Grant us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious Blessed Virgin Mary, Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Lawrence Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calonso, pray for us. Saint Antonio de Calibo, bless us. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Uh, before we formally adjourn, uh, the chair would like to thank my colleagues in the 18th Sangguniang Congregation for uh, while uh, we are under uh, enhanced community quarantine, we still need to act on urgent matters that uh, would require our approval to address any urgent or emergency situations considering the uh, pandemic that uh, we are all facing. Again, thank you and uh, just be uh, on call anytime the provincial uh, executive might uh, request for a special session to act on urgent, to, to, for the passage of urgent uh, measures by this Sangonian. Again, thank you, and session is hereby adjourned.